Blue Yeti versus the Fifine T669. Which one am I talking on right now? Stick around to the end to see. Also at the end of this video is an in-depth test against the two different microphones. So feel free to watch to the end or click on the timestamps down in the description. So welcome to Tech, Tech, Tech to be discovered. So starting off, I would like to clear up the differences between the Fifine K669, a very popular microphone, and the Fifine T669. The T669 comes with many more accessories, and the K669 also comes with less accessories, but also has a pretty terrible headphone jack. If you don't believe me that they both sound nearly exactly the same, look it up on YouTube. Um, I will also link a video right up there in that little thing that popped up so you can watch that. Alright, on with the review. Design is one of the most important aspects of a microphone if you are a streamer, otherwise it's one of the least important things. But some of the features that I will be naming under this section are very important for all people. So starting off with looks, honestly in my opinion the Fifine T669 looks much better. If I were a streamer and this was my microphone that I was going to be having in the video the entire time, that is what I would pick. The design of the Fifine T669 and K669 allows you to see the diaphragm of the microphone, which absolutely looks beautiful. The Blue Yeti, not so much. Honestly, it's pretty big and it's kind of ugly. That's just my opinion, but it is. Now, it's not that it isn't a pretty microphone compared to some others, but it's still uglier than the Fifine T669, which is what we are comparing today. Features is an interesting one. Now, if you're talking about accessories, the Fifine T669 wins. If you're talking about actual features on the microphone, the Blue Yeti obviously wins. Looking at what the Fifine T669 brings to the table, you get a removable cable, which is of course very nice, and also a volume control, which is more like gain. So your gain is going to be controlled through the volume wheel. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but that is what it is. And that's about all the features that comes with this microphone. So, you know, that's not a whole lot, but the accessories back it up. Also, don't forget all of the links are in the description for all of these different items. Now, the features of the Blue Yeti are much more rich, which is part of why I like this microphone. Features that you get are different pickup patterns, which are a big thing to me. So you get Carioid, which is what the other Fifine T669 is, but you also get a stereo mode, you get an all surround mode, which is really nice for sound effects, and also a uh, like interview mode where it's just the front and the back of the microphone, which is really cool. So then the other features you get are a physical gain and volume control, as well as a headphone jack, which isn't too bad. Um, although they do advertise um, that there is no latency to the headphone jack, I did try this with my camera, it did not work very well. Um, there is enough latency where you might as well just record separately and line up the audio in post. So don't be counting on that, that's actually one of the things that I thought I was able to do with this microphone, but I wasn't. So then the other jack that you get is a removable cable for the USB power and that is a micro B, which is actually in my opinion kind of a downgrade from the Fifine T669 which is uses USB type B which is kind of a more robust cable. Um, I'm, I'm, I go for more robust cables not necessarily what's smaller. Um, that's just my opinion but you know that's why you're watching this video because you're getting my opinions. Uh, anyway moving on. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now this section is pretty much dedicated to telling you about the accessories that come with the Fifine T669. The Fifine K669 comes with a tripod and a cable, that's all you get. With the Blue Yeti, you also only get the stand that comes with the microphone, and the microphone itself, and then of course the cable. The Fifine K669 does however uh, have a headphone jack compared to the T669, so remember that. The Fifine T669 comes with an arm mount that can be screwed onto a desk, although it can't be screwed onto a very thick desk, I learned. Um, it also comes with a tripod. You also get a wind mask, kind of like um, one that you'd find like at a church or at a live event. And then you also get a pop filter, which is really, really nice they included that. All of these things would cost you over $30 if you were to buy them yourself. So it's really nice that they did include that. Now I would like to mention that the Fifine T669, as of writing, is much more expensive than it was. I bought it for around $45. And the Blue Yeti, I bought on eBay used, it was like new pretty much, besides one little ding on the back. Um, and I bought that for $50. So what I would recommend is get on eBay. Um, and if you're getting the Blue Yeti, just go and look at different listings, especially auctions. They're, for some reason, they have a hard time selling. So message the seller, see if they will uh, let you pay for a good price, like $50 is a really good price, it seems like. Um, or if, if you just see a good deal, a deal, just do that. Or you can bid on it or whatever. I would just recommend eBay for the microphones because as long as they haven't been abused, they're just fine. The Fifine T669 is much harder to find on there, especially with all the accessories in good condition, so you're just going to want to buy that on Amazon, which I've included links for in the description. Section 4 is the most important part of the microphones. Sound quality. Now, this goes on for a little while, so like I said, there's timestamps down in the description if you want to skip past this, but um, there's no video or anything, just like a little uh, visualizer to go along with it. So make sure to wear headphones um, to be able to hear it. This is raw and unedited audio that I'm about to show you. Um, I edited a few things out, of course, when uh, that I had to, but uh, like no, no changes to the audio at all. So anyway, here you go. Have a listen. Also, a quick note before you start listening, um, I didn't have a lot of the stuff correct, so if you want to hear a lot of the stuff that's correct, just go ahead and skip towards the end of where um, I have the uh, audio recording stuff where I was testing the two different microphones. Also, it's very, very raw. I couldn't think of what to say, so I was just seeing completely random things, so be aware of that. Um, so anyway, go ahead and take a listen. Hello, this is a test of my microphone. This is a Blue Yeti, um, something rather. Um, Blue Yeti... Blue Yeti, the original. It's a Blue Yeti, the original. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see here. Now I will be switching over to the... Um, let's see here what it's called. It's called the Fifine K669. So I'm switching over that now. Alright, I am now talking on the Fifine K669, and this is with the pop filter on, no wind muff, and yeah, so this is how I sound, and yeah, pretty cool. Alrighty, I did not realize that I had the uh, on full surround mode, so this is the Blue Yeti, the original with a pop filter on, so this is a pretty uh, even test to the uh, Fifi and K669, and um, we're actually going to turn down this gain here because it looks like I am clipping. So there we go, this is pop 1, 2, 3, pop 1, 2, 3, and we're going to turn that down just a little bit more, and that's pop 1, 2, 3, pop 1, 2, 3. Alright, we will be finished now. Alrighty, this is the Fifine K669 with the pop filter on, so this is about the same uh, distance I was away from the Blue Yeti. Um, I will be doing a more in-depth test on that later, so that's pop, one, two, three, pop, one, two, three, pop, one, two, three. Okay, so apparently I had my gain up way too high, and I still have it way up too high, so whoa, okay, that's interesting. Why is it like that? Is that turning it all the way up? Is that turning it down? 
oh, that seems to be turning it down, and I'm sure I sound way better now. Okay, so popping is like this, and it seems like going about here is probably about good, or somewhere around there. Well, turning it the other way was certainly a good test. Um, so I will be turning it down more as my um is like that. And okay, so that was still way too high. Um, let's turn it the other direction since that's down. Okay, that's lower. That's for sure lower. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, that's still lower. Even yet. Okay, that sounds pretty good right about there. Today we're going to be talking about the Blue Yeti, and now we're switching over to the Fifine K669 to see what it sounds like. Alrighty then, switching back to the Fifine K669, I sound like this, and I'm right about the same distance away if I'm like this. Pop filter is actually a little bit closer, but anyway, you get the point. Um, so next we will be doing with and without the pop filter. Okay, starting out with the Blue Yeti, and I'm right about a good distance away from the microphone. I'm not clipping as far as I can see, and also we are doing really well. I'm talking at the <clears throat> at the speed I would be talking normally, and about the same distance. So remember, this is without a pop filter. And next we'll be going on to the Fi Fi K669. Once again, this is a Blue Yeti original, and the we'll be going on to the Fi Fi K669. Alrighty, this is the Fi Fi K669 in about the same gain volume at a different, at a about the same distance away. So I'm talking about the same as I was there, and um, I am just talking normally. So this is the Fi Fi K669, which you heard before was the Blue Yeti, and I'm talking. Thank you for listening. This is Ben. Okay, so going back to the Blue Yeti. I am going to be doing the test again, once again, with the pop filter because now I have the gain set to the correct amount. And then we will also be listening to the Fi Fi K669 later. And actually, what you just heard before this clip was the Fi Fi K669. So I'm just talking normally. And um, this is the Blue Yeti original, which is pretty cool. I got it on eBay for $50. And now we're going to go to the Fi Fi K669. Going back to the Fi Fi K669. This is, um, it slipped again. I will just have to hold the microphone. Anyway, this is the Fi Fi K669, and um, I'm talking about the same distance away. This is with a pop filter, and um, yeah, I got this one for $50 with a whole bunch of accessories. And anyway, uh, I am talking at the same volume that I was before, at the same distance, and I'm holding the microphone, so if you hear any clunks or anything like that, that's just my hand holding the microphone. So anyway, I am Ben, and this is Tech to be Discovered. Alright, which one sounded better to you? Feel free to talk about it down in the description, make sure to like this video and stuff, but now I'm about to tell you exactly what microphone I've been using this entire time and decided to keep. It's the Blue Yeti. Now, in my opinion, I want you to listen to the audio, but it sounds like it, it sounds slightly better. I, I just have a little bit more bassy tones, um, a, little, a lot more mid-tones, and also another thing is it doesn't peak quite as easily. There's a lot wider, uh, I don't know if it would be called soundstage, no, that would be dynamic range um, and audio, but anyway, um, like it, it can, you have a lot you, a more uh, control over between when it's really, really quiet and when it's really, really loud and then it peaks. Um, so it, that, that microphone pe peaks a lot easier than what I would have liked it to. Um, so that's why I decided to go with the Blue Yeti. Also, the Blue Yeti has many more features, um, such as cardioid surround, which is important for me as a filmmaker. Um, I, I like sounding, recording sound effects. Um, and also a few other features that were just uh, good for me, such as a headphone jack and stuff like that, because I also use the uh, microphone for gaming, for instance. Um, so that kind of thing. But anyway, I'm Ben. This is Tech to be Discovered. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.